today I'm going to show you how to test a whole pile of Apple chargers with the CMI Zapper MagSafe tester. It plugs into a normal USB for power. And you simply connect the MagSafe plug. and the tester will tell you what there is to test. So it read data, it likes the CRC, and it's saying it's Apple MagSafe 1, 60 watt adapter, supplying 17.1 volts under load, hence the L, and 0 0.5 volts without load. So this is a perfectly good Apple charger. Let's try the next one. button resets the charger, uh, resets the tester. So this one reads no data, so that already means it's a fake charger. Supplies 19 volts. And under, under no load, it also supplies 19 volts, so it is a badly behaved fake charger. So it's reading data, so that's good. CRC is good, oh, but the output voltage is zero volts. So it's an Apple MagSafe 2 85 watt charger, but it's dead. So it'd be a good candidate to harvest the cable from. Next patients. It's reading data, 80.7 volts, very good. It likes the CRC. It's an Apple MagSafe 1, 85 watt charger. Ooh. But and the, uh, when it's not loaded, it still supplies the 80.7 volts. So it claims to be an Apple charger, but it's not. Yeah, so it's a, a real Apple cable attached to a fake charger. Let's try the next one. Reading data, very good. It likes the CRC, 18.9 volts. Apple MagSafe 1, 85 watts. Oh, and again, it does not turn off when there's no load. So like the previous one, this is a nice cable, but a bad charger. And the last one. No data. But maybe it's not making good contact here. Let's see what it says. It's not turning off and it's not seeing data, so this is a fake, fake charger. Let's try 
try it one more time. Okay. Yeah, no data. And the voltage does not turn off when when there's no load, so it's 100% certain fake. Well, this is a little little tour of the brand new MagSafe charger tester, and I hope you liked it. Thanks.